Hey, real quick on a door with a hinge. I'm just gonna make a fake frame here. And move that up. All right, so that's our frame. Let's give it a rigid body. Let's make it kinematic. Whoop. And our model here, which is our door. Let's give that a rigid body. It can use gravity. And next we need uh, a hinge joint. Its connected body is that guy. So what do we want? First of all, we want the anchor set in the right spot. Oh, let's go this way. Let's connect them over here on that side. That's probably fine. And Oops. Let's see. Limits. I want Y axes and then let's I should be able to let's use a spring spring give it I don't know 15 or 10 or something limits all right well not gonna worry about that right now all right, so now let's create a little box guy. Give him a rigid body. I'm gonna put him as chimatic. He really doesn't matter though. Whoops. Oh, I still messed that up somehow. There you have a hinge joint. And that's how you kind of set those things up. Right, and you can see like if I try to move real quick, I can fly through it. And that's as easy as just taking this and going, let's go continuous dynamic. And now it's, it'll react a lot better. But you have to have, <clears throat> like I have a frame here, and then I have my actual model, and I put my hinge joint on here. We've connected the hinge here, as you can see. And I should be able to, even though it's being silly right now, but whatever. And if you increase the spring, like you can go pretty stiff on this thing, All right? Now it's like that. Uh, obviously, I think way too stiff, but you know, if, if you if you leave it at zero, like if you don't use a spring, it's just gonna do whatever the hell it's gonna do. So I mean, spring is typically good. I mean, even if you oop, are not limits uh, spring, use spring. I mean, even if you don't, uh, you know, don't need. Whole lot like it's still going around 
So now let's use limits right now. It's it's gonna freak out, right? So it's using these limits. So let's I don't know go one ten negative one ten. Now we should have where it's it can only go so far. And then it's gonna spaz out. But if I hit it, right, if I actually use force, it don't it's only gonna go. Actually, if I take that spring down, you can probably see that a little better. All right, you see how it, it only goes so far? If I hit it this way, it only goes so far. That's because I put those limits on it. But I like the spring personally. So it, it, do, it doesn't need much, but it'll slowly try to get it back to where it was, right? I mean, one's pretty low, obviously. You know, 10, even 10 is almost kind of high. Not bad. I think 5 is a pretty good number. Uh, you can put a bit of a damper to it. If you want, you can use motors too. Uh, and... You see, like, like the motor will just start to move it on its own. And then it'll it'll push things. It won't push this because it's if I if I do that, it will push it. If I give it enough force. Right? It doesn't have much force right now. Give it enough force and it'll start pushing that too. And there you have a bit of a hinge joint. Let's take that motor off. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably about it. 